Hello my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, I'm always so grateful to have you back. Now today we are going to be doing a spring makeover refresh in our family room. The last time I decorated for spring was in this room that I'm in right now. Now I consider this our formal living area and in the other room our family room that i'll be refreshing today is more so our chill zone where we entertain where my husband watches sports and we host movie nights in there so that is the area that we will be decorating for today for those of you who are new my aesthetic is more so modern organic neutral earthy type of vibes here i love linen and all of that natural material so if that is your vibe just keep on watching starting off with refreshing our entertainment center that sits right up under our tv in this room now we have this for some years now it's from ikea but it does the trick even comes with storage however i wanted to go ahead and switch out the poles on this switching out the hardware is just a great easy way to kind of refresh any type of furniture and i absolutely love this idea now i already had a whole bunch of these on hand and my husband and i were like well we might as well save them because we have other projects to do in the house so once i took that out i'm using this touch-up kit that we got from lowe's i'll be sure to leave that link down below but it comes with this little putty cube that you can use to fill in any type of holes and i'm literally going in with my fingers here to clean that up as well as a sanding block and then you will see me use a paint marker that it came with so um it definitely did the job it didn't make it all the way 100 percent seamless however it did take care of what i needed to take care of and then once i attached the new poles you didn't see it anyway so that worked out really great and now i'm just drawing a straight line with the leveler right over the previous holes and i would usually use this blue tool that you see here the name isn't coming to me but i will leave it down below now it fits for your average poles but these poles were actually large in scale so i only used it to mark the middle and then i went ahead and measured out and marked off where the new holes would need to be so again whipping out that leveler making sure everything's leveled and once that was installed i loved how it looked oh my goodness so i went in and drilled the pilot holes first attached it and it looks so much better absolutely love it so easy and effective I did make a mess, so that brings me to today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Prosenic for sending over their P11 Mopping Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. I am so thoroughly obsessed and very impressed by this. It comes with all of these attachments, easy to plug in and charge up. You can also mount it to the wall, which is really nice. It holds all of the attachments. It comes with a removable, reusable mopping pad and a water tank that's easy to access where you can fill in your favorite solution to clean your floors. You can also use all of the attachments as a handheld. It also came with a backup filter and the design is so sleek, easy to click in and use and super thoughtful. It also comes with a touchscreen control panel, which is so nice. It lets you know battery level. You can control three suction levels here and it also lets you know when you need to empty out the dustbin. Y'all, look at that. This was on the lowest suction level and it got that up with no problem. It also swivels so easily, comes with a light on the front, which I love. You can literally vacuum and mop at the same time in the dark. It's amazing. I also want to add that it comes with different levels so my eight-year-old son can actually vacuum as well and you don't have to hold the power on button for it to go. It is literally the best and you will love the price. I also have a discount code for you down below so be sure to check that out. Thank you again to Prosenic for sending over their P11 Mopping Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Moving right along, I wanted to switch up the large scale wall art that I have in this room. Now, some of you may recognize this textured wall art piece that I did a long time ago, but even though it had a lot of texture, it still fell flat up against our light walls. 
So I am going in and painting it with the color Dry Time by Sherwin-Williams. I absolutely love this. This is also a sample that we had left over. So I'm using this color. I thought it would be perfect and complement the tones in the room. And I went in with this matte clear finish and I absolutely love this color, y'all. And I hope the camera's doing it justice, but it is packed with so much texture underneath that picture light. I am so obsessed with this color. You have no idea. So I wanted a bit of a pop of color. However, I still wanted a neutral. So that worked out perfectly. Now to add a bit more visual interest and make it a bit cozy, I'm going in with some neutral pattern throws that fit for the season, but also keeping it really earthy and neutral. For additional interest and a pop of pattern, I am layering in my favorite throw blanket that will be linked down below. I'm also adding in a tray so that the ottoman doubles as a coffee table for us. And I'm just keeping it super minimal and also adding in some coasters as well, keeping it functional, also spacious enough for remotes. These neutral bush stems are from Hobby Lobby. They're just so perfect for a lower neutral arrangement. And the pot was actually a DIY that I did to make it look aged and worn. And of course, if you are not new here, you know that I style with these marble coasters all of the time and mainly because we use them all of the time. So keeping it super functional as always. And then over here by the side table, I'm going in with this vase from Target that I got a while back on clearance. I just love the fluted detail to it and it's perfect with the way the light hits it. It has a lot of visual interest and then I'm pairing it with these stems from Hobby Lobby as well just for an extra additional pop of spring and I love that the green on it is muted as well. Now over here for this blank wall, I picked up these frames from at home for about $35 each. I wanted to go ahead and spend that money because <laughs> for these large frames, it's super hard to find. I did not fill them yet. I am still kind of browsing around on Etsy to see what I like. And then over here for the tree, which brings such great life to this area, I'll leave it linked down below as well. Also the pot, the age pot, obsessed. Um, I'm also adding in some Spanish moss that I had extra from at home as well. And now to style the entertainment center over here, I'm going in with some books and some objects that I love. This was a new pickup from Hobby Lobby. They did such a great job at making this look worn and it sits right on top of any service. So I absolutely love how I have the age pot over to the right and then also the vessel or pot that the tree is sitting in over to the left, just so that everything is balanced. So I'm adding in a wooden decorative bowl over there to the left and then right in the middle I'm going to be adding in the Art of Home coffee table book to complete this styling and I am loving this refresh. I love how it came out. It's filled with everything that I love and I love how the artwork came out as well. It looks like something I would buy off of Crate and Barrel and then I am wanting to get some curtains for this room so stay tuned and I'm still on the fence about if I should put a rug in here or not because it's closest to the front entryway and guests won't have to take their shoes off in here so just stay tuned. I am loving how everything turned out. And that wraps it up for today, you all. I hope that you enjoyed from start to finish. Down below, let me know your favorite part. As always, I hope that this left you inspired for you to make some changes and switch things up in your home. And if you like this type of content for me, don't forget to leave me a big, huge thumbs up. Also, if you can leave a comment down below, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel a ton, especially if you don't know what to say. You can just leave any type of floral emoji down below or a heart or smiley face. I promise you I will respond back. Again, thank you for today's sponsor. I will go ahead and leave everything linked down below, including a discount code for you all. I love you all so much. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.